Was no. there any was there anything unusual about her demeanor at the time? No. Even looking back in hindsight? No. Um, so that weekend, that, that was Memorial Day weekend, at, at some point uh, you learned that Jennifer was missing. Mm-hmm. And at any point in time that weekend, did Michelle or Fotis come to the ski club? Um, we did not see them set. Saturday, but um, I saw Michelle at the pond pretty much all day on that Sunday. I believe Fotis was going to see his kids or try to see his kids Sunday, so he was not there. Um, Michelle spent the day at the pond with her daughter, and then Fotis, um, I think later, it was probably late afternoon, early evening, showed up at the pond. And can you tell the jury a little bit about what Michelle's demeanor was like on that Sunday at the time? So I believe <clears throat> there was state police at, at her house. I don't know whether they were in the house or parked out in front, but I know um, she didn't want to be there. Um, so she was obviously agitated. Um, I remember she tried to ski. I mean, the water was still very cold, but she was... Um, she was upset and she was definitely teary-eyed. And you said Fotis came later in the evening? Yep, Fotis, um, I don't think he was able to see his kids, so I think uh, he ended up back at our place or back at the pond. Um, I would say sometime, it was later, maybe five thirty, six o'clock. Did Fotis, when he came, seem upset or concerned? Um... He was upset that he didn't see his kids, for sure. Um, yeah, he was upset. But that was your impression, that that's what he was upset about? I feel about? like he was upset that he didn't, yeah. He wasn't able to see his kids. During um, that weekend and the days that followed, was there a lot of media presence at the pond? Um, yes. It was unbelievable. Was there a heavy police presence at the pond? Um, there was heavy everything at the pond. So we had, um, <clears throat> I, mean, I mean, it was nonstop. So you have podcasters calling, you have reporters driving in, calling, um, the state police, you know, showing up at my office to look at surveillance. Um, uh, the pond, our pond is... It's sacred ground to us. We have 30 people in our club that love that place. And the state police come in with dogs, and they search the place with dogs, and then they put a boat in the water, and they go over the whole pond with a boat looking for a body. It was awful. And it obviously still is upsetting for it, you. Yeah, no, it was it was probably one of the most painful painful times of my life. Um, and they searched your property pretty thoroughly. Yep, I gave <clears throat> the state police came down early in the week, and I gave um, I gave a tour and showed somebody and told them all about the the pond. And then I feel like it was a couple of days later they got a search warrant and they came down with dogs and taped off the whole place and. There had to have been 20 police officers just doing their search in the whole place. And then, I don't know if it was a couple weeks later or it was when it was, but they came and did it again, this time with a boat, to put a boat in the water. And you cooperated fully with that? Absolutely. Um, did, you, did you speak to um, Otis around that time? <clears throat> The only real contact, I mean, around, around, so, yeah, I mean, we, during that week, no, I didn't see him at all. In, in May of 2019, do you remember um, Fotis ever saying something to you about Jennifer having left in the past and he expected that Objection. she would show up? Effect on the hero listener, Your Honor. Well, it, then it's court, irrelevant. This is not going to be a street corner argument. The 
court knows of no exception to the hearsay rule effect on the hearer. In this court's view, that's folklore. That's not the law. Then existing emotional or mental condition is an exception to the hearsay rule. This is not being offered, as the court understands it, for the truth of the matter state. Overruled. You can answer that question. So Fotis would look at me, and over and over, the few times I saw him, he would say, I did not do this. I did not do this. And um, he did at one time tell me that Jennifer had run away at some point earlier in her life, and I don't know the details of it. And he said she's doing it again. I have one moment, please, Your Honor. I have no further questions. Thank you. Cross-examination, please. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, sir. How are you? Good. Uh, my name is Michelle Manning. I represent the state. I'm going to ask you a couple questions, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Um, now, briefly, you talked a lot about on direct about you on the pond. Yes. Okay. And uh, that's a, the ski club. What is the ski club called? Old Farm Skiers. Okay. And it's members only? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And Photos was part of that water ski membership? Yes. Correct? Okay. And Michelle Traconis was as well? Yes. And now you also own the storage facility that's around that pond? Yes. Okay. Did. And, and um, with respect to uh, water skiing is important to you, correct? Yes. Yeah, you've been doing it a very, very long time, yes. correct? Okay. So, I mean, you own a pond. You, I think you described everybody as a community, yes. would you say? Okay. And uh, Michelle Traconis was part of that community, wasn't she? Yes. And in fact, you talk about many times that you would just hang out on the dock, maybe have dinner together, things like that. Is that correct? Yes. And you would talk to her a lot during the time she was there, correct? Um, we'd socialize. We'd so. socialize, but in a group. In a group? Um, yeah. yeah. In, like, in English? Yes. Okay. And... Uh, I want to ask you some specific questions about the party on May 23rd. Um, you were, it was planned a couple days in advance. That was your testimony, correct? I think so, yes. Okay. And you've had, uh, uh, you didn't know that Stefan Reich and Beth Johnson were going to be there that day in advance, did you? I feel like I did. You feel like you did? Yeah, I think there was going to be six of us, yes. Okay. Uh, did you, was Stefan Reich part of the Water Ski Club? No. Okay, and Beth Johnson wasn't either? No. That was, honestly, that was the first time we met them. That was the first meeting that night? Okay. And you were invited by Photos Dulos? Yes. Okay. And uh, you got there, I think you testified around 6.30? I'm guessing, I don't know. I just don't remember exactly well, what time. It's been about five years, you would say. <laughs> Is that fair to yep. say? Yes. Okay. And when this first happened, there was a lot of media attention. Yes. I think you talked a little bit about it. You mentioned this was a very difficult, I think your words were, this was the hardest thing that you've ever gone through in mm -hmm. your life. Yes. Was the media attention. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, by the way, you see the camera behind me? Yes. And it's been, have you, have you been watching on TV? No, haven't seen a single second of it. Okay, but have you noticed the news reports? No, I won't watch it. You won't watch it at all, mm -hmm. right? Because you're very close to Fotis. Yep. Okay, well, it's a very, very big part of your life for, I think you said, 30 years. Yes. Yeah, okay. Now, at the dinner party that night, um, the um, kind of impromptu dinner party, you'd say, right? It wasn't very formal. No. Right. Okay. It was you, your wife? Yes. Okay. And um, Stefan Reich, correct? Yes. Uh, Beth, I think she was Johnson at the time. Yeah. And uh, Michelle Traconis and Photos Dulos, correct? Right. Okay. And I think you testified that there was nothing odd about it. Those were your words, correct? That's correct. Okay. But Photos talked about the fact that he really wanted couldn't wait to get that he had an expectation he was going to get the kids again, right? 
Is that correct? He, yes. And he talked about, I think you testified, you talked about the fact that, you know, on May 23rd, he uh, was excited. He was going to take the kids water skiing again. I think those were, that's what you said too. Right? I, I, yes, he was, he said he was making progress where never before has he been making progress to get them to never. get custody or to get visitation. Never before? That's, you remember him saying that? R repeat that. Um, you said he's been making progress where never before he's Well, been... he, up to that point, I don't think he really had the kids at all. Okay. And not even, I mean, he would, he would be able to see them once in a while, but it wasn't, it wasn't very consistent. And on May 23rd, he... He mentioned that he thought he would be able to get more visitation and that we might be seeing the kids at the pond where we haven't in a long time. Did you discuss the plans to murder Jennifer the next morning at the dinner party? Did say that again? Did you discuss the plans with, did Fotis Dulos discuss in Michelle Draconis discuss the plans to murder Jennifer at the dinner party on the 23rd? No. Did they discuss with you at the dinner party to dispose of evidence of the murder in the garbage cans of Albany Objection. Avenue? No. Wow. Argumentative. Well, the question is essentially a leading question that does it, was the intent to murder Jennifer Dulos discussed at the dinner party. And your objection is it's argumentative. Well, the clear answer from this witness is going to be no. So the objection is overruled. Did you have those discussions, sir? No. And uh, what about the plan to use the Tacoma and clean it afterwards? Did he discuss to that? To what? To use a Toyota Tacoma and then clean it afterwards. Did he discuss that with you? No. And uh, let's. You talked a lot about the um, media influence on the pond and how, as a police coming with, uh, I think, it, did you say it, uh, they searched the pond one day mm -hmm. and then they came back with a boat mm -hmm. and divers? Did they do that? Okay. And um, that was the. Were, again, the worst experience of your life, them searching for... It was an awful experience. It was an awful experience. Yes, <clears throat> awful experience searching. The whole thing's an awful experience. Of course. Yes. Uh, you watching the pond being searched for a uh, dead body of a mother of five was awful for you. Um, we're Objection. Sustained. Nothing further, Your Honor. 